what's up guys? Uh, today I'm here with uh, Jeffrey Perfecto, the tech man at youtube.com and uh, basically he brought over his Galaxy Note which I went ahead and flashed a uh, jelly bean on, CM10. Is it the real version of CM10? It is not the real version of CM10, no. This is basically a... Uh, let me see what it's called here. This is called Paranoid Nandroid Peanut Butter Jelly Time by Jamie D81 on XD8. Uh, it's basically a 4.1.1 ROM. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the settings here. About phone, 4.1.1 on the Galaxy Note i717 for AT&T. Now, it looks beautiful. It does. With that said, it does look good. Uh, battery's dying. It has pretty much all of the Jelly Bean features, like for example, you have a... Uh, what's 36 times 36 minus 9 plus 8? See, it didn't read it. Didn't recognize it. So. What's 36 times 36 plus 8 minus 9? Nope, Google Now is not working. Okay, so Google Now is broken. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get the Wi-Fi. Oh, is it all, not on... Uh, My data didn't automatically hook up. Ah. Uh, interesting. Right, so let's try this on Wi-Fi here. Uh, otherwise, you got basically all of the same CM10 features. Uh, CM10 wallpapers. Uh, live wallpapers. Let's see, you have... The Jelly Bean uh, app drawer and widgets, which is pretty much the same as ICS. Let's see, Wi Fi here. Okay, even the Wi Fi is tripping out. So the Wi Fi is tripping out. Okay, uh, it's a pretty buggy build. Who made this? What's his name? Jamie D81. Yo, man, thank you for the time that you actually took to um, develop this. I know, you know, um, you must have spent a lot of Saturday nights doing this. We really appreciate it. But it sucks, bro. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect, Come man. On. Let's no. just step it up a little bit, bro. No, you have to give credit to the developers for at least putting in their time to get these things that out is to true. us. As, you know, some people, it's, it's going to run fine. For most people, it probably won't. On the Galaxy Note, it's not yet. It's not, it's not there yet. Thank you for trying. Maybe it may not be there yet. Actually, you know what? The, the international version has a... Uh, Pretty solid version of CM10 supposedly. I wouldn't know. I just saw it on XDA. All right, the camera here works fine. Autofocus works. Takes pictures. Perfectly fine. Uh, other than that, you got some weird features in this ROM that basically turn your phone into a honeycomb tablet. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? Let me just go ahead and show you guys really quickly here what I'm talking about. So if I go to, you know, you know, Brett, I must say it's running a lot better than what it was, to be <laughs> honest with you. Yo, yeah, well, it's in the hybrid all. Yeah. Because it's not, it's not down there anymore. It's running a lot better. I mean, I must say, it definitely is running better. Uh, but it's not connecting to Wi-Fi. That's obviously a problem. Clearly. Okay, so anyways, let me show you guys the phablet charade here. So if you go to settings and you head over to paranoid settings and you click on configuration, you can basically turn your phone into a uh, it's basically what you can do, you can turn your phone into a uh, into a phablet as they say. On a side note, here is the Nexus 7 running stock jelly bean. Uh, the screen, you know, I'm, not, I'm very, uh, kind of an underwhelming screen here. I'm not as excited about the screen as I originally was after looking at Super AMOLED. But the Nexus tablet does have a very clean and smooth UI in terms of its operations and if you want to check Google now here. What's 6 times 6 times 36 plus 9 minus 3? Fair enough. Okay. Alright, so now you can see it's turned into a honeycomb tablet. <laughs> uh, it's, you, know, you have no notification on the top, you have the notification on the bottom. I don't know who would like you. We I, have a would, small Motorola Zoom on our hands. Right. 
I don't know who would be comfortable using it in this. It looks pretty snappy right now, though. It's snappy, but I mean, it's still. It needed some time to marinate. Let's see the multitasking. Okay, let's open some apps here. I well, like the, opening and closing, I'll tell you, is pretty damn quick. The Sienna Jimmy makes great, great okay. ROMs, man. Oh, multitasking is smooth. Definitely smooth. Yeah, it does make great ROMs. So no notifications. So there's your uh, honeycomb tablet view. Um, I don't it's know. It's a lot smoother. You need some time to marinate. Definitely. So there you go. Uh, other than that, the stock, uh, the ROM comes with pretty much all stock Google apps. Once you flash gaps, you have to remember to flash gaps. And uh, it's basically, other than that, it's basically uh, stock Jelly Bean experience in a very, very alpha mode. Uh, if you're expecting the daily driver with this, uh, you know, I mean, it really depends on how picky you are. Uh, me and Brett over here are pretty picky, so. Uh, you know, we definitely want, if especially if it's a custom ROM, because technically with these new devices, the stock ROMs that they come with are pretty solid in themselves. So it's really, a, if you're going to install a ROM or flash a custom ROM, you know, do it at your own risk, because especially now with Samsung devices, they're coming out with the updates much quicker than yeah. they were two years ago with the Galaxy S. Very true. And to a certain extent, the Galaxy S2, but at least they got ICS out for the Galaxy S2. Sprint got it, AT&T got it, Verizon got it, or not Verizon, T-Mobile got it. Uh, Verizon is a Galaxy Nexus, so they're looking at Jelly Bean. So Samsung stepped it up with updates, so uh, update at your own risk. I believe the Note will be getting Jelly Bean very soon. Uh, shout out to the T-Mobile Note, which just recently came out, by the way, and to the Note 2, which will be coming out uh, in no time. And I want to do a video, actually, uh, eventually, basically pointing out the differences between a 5.5-inch quad-core 2-gigabyte uh, Galaxy Note with a 300 plus pixel per inch density Jeez. compared to a 4 inch iPhone. <laughs> yeah, that will come in due time. I'm sure that will come before the end of the year. A 4 inch iPhone? 4 inch iPhone and a 5.5 inch Galaxy Note 2. But then isn't the whole world, aren't, aren't, aren't the iPhone drones going to be like, oh my god, oh, it's perfect. Gonna, oh yeah, they're going to, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. 4 inches. See, it shouldn't be any bigger, it shouldn't be any smaller. <laughs> Four is perfect. No. See, me and Brett came up with a theory. It's not that our phones are too big. The iPhone is too small. Thank you, sir. Alright, there you guys have it. Uh, signing off here. And again, just to uh, go ahead and... Actually, hold on one second. It is running a lot better, Brett. You're right, it did need to marinate in. Okay, so go ahead and... Uh, Shoot a comment, let us know how you feel. If you have if you need instructions on how to install this, go ahead and message me and I'll direct you to the XDA link. Um, I'm here with Perfecto Jeffrey, the Hood Tech Man at YouTube, Adam. He does video reviews and good ones at that. So thank you guys for watching. Take care, have a good day.